All right, Mitch, I'm here today to talk about you. And I brought you my favorite hat that's been in the cabinet for years. Look at this thing. I think we only made a couple of those as a joke, obviously. But I knew right where it was when I was coming to talk about you. How did I meet Mitch? Well, you have enough time for this? <laughs> Um, Mitch and I have a great relationship and we've had some so much fun over the years and won a lot of races together but uh, in the very beginning um, you know it's kind of it's a story that a lot of people know about maybe some don't but anyways when when uh, when I was a kid I had a little deal from Pro Circuit and then you know kind of started getting faster and and uh, eventually eventually I mean I was 16 years old I think and uh, as the f famous story goes, I had to, you know, I, I, f I was trying to leave Pro Circuit, really, and go get some, I went and got sponsored by White Brothers and a few other people, and I was 16 at the time, and, you know, I, I just, you know, I was a nobody, and so m my dad just kind of being the respectable guy that he has made me you know, understand the things about doing stuff in person like that. And so I had to go down to Mitch's office and, um, you know, tell him that I was going to quit. And I mean, it was probably the most nervous time I've ever been in my whole life. And uh, I remember sitting in the office and told Mitch that I was going to stop riding for Pro Circuit. I mean, I was only, I wasn't getting a bunch of free stuff. It wasn't like I, I, I mean, I wasn't even Team Green at the time. So, um, the story, I mean, Mitch kind of told me like, hey, who do you think you are, Rick Johnson? It's kind of one of those things. And Ricky was the man at the time and all of our idols, of course. And uh, I left Mitch's office crying. So I had known Mitch for a long time, but that was the first part of my pro circuit relationship. And then, uh, you know, one of, the, one, of the one of the cool things about that story is when I left his office, he, he said that I would never ride for pro circuit again. And uh, Mitch, I proved you wrong on that one. Yeah, so um, after that sort of scenario, it was like a year and a half later. Um, that was 1990. I, I was riding for Team Green at the time. Won my first Supercross at Vegas. And uh, lo and behold, I was getting a factory Honda ride. And Mitch was becoming the 125 factory program. So it was awesome because here we were a year and a half later after this scariest time in my life in his office being a nobody and and quitting pro circuit to sort of being the star of the team in 1991 and i mean memories from there on out are just pretty amazing you know we 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 as a team uh, accomplished so much and we had so much fun we did a lot of growing up we i mean there's just stories in seattle of of lamson and and mitch and having fish fights and all this crazy stuff when we were when we were kids and uh, you know, there was never lo a loss of entertainment with Team Pro Circuit. And, uh, you know, I'm just so proud of Mitch. He's, you know, every storybook rider that's come through this sport has basically had to come through Mitch. And I'm proud to be one of them for sure. We won two titles together and that's not the end of it. We, he did work on my bikes throughout the whole time. Even in the late 90s, when I won with Yamaha, Mitch was building my bikes. And, you know, it's it, the relationship has not changed since. You know, he would do anything for me, and I would do the same for him. So, uh, congrats to you, Mitch, on being a champion, being a legend of this sport, and being someone that this sport could not really do without. You know, I think in the beginning, with Mitch, he you know, you know when you're when you're starting when you're starting company. I mean, Mitch has been around a long time, even way before I got there. But you know, you, you're constantly trying to find your footing, right? And and uh, by the '90s, Mitch had found his footing in the sport of course not not only as a previous rider but then as a uh you know one of the one of the if, if not the best team owner in the history of the sport um you know as a as a guy that would just be willing to help anybody you know he's got great guys around him uh you know if you catch him on the right day sometimes he's, he could be a little bit irritated not so much these days because he's got a family and and children so you learn to have a little patience but uh for the most part, Mitch is, he's a teddy bear. He help anyone, his team or, or not. So uh, again, you know, someone just, just to be friends and be part of the history of Pro Circuit and, and know a guy like Mitch is, is pretty cool. Here, here's one of the great things about Pro Circuit and about Mitch Payton is, you know, of course he has the storybook riders, right? I mean, I, I would look at Pro Circuit sort of like the New England Patriots. He, he has the Tom Brady's, 
uh, you know, and he has all the stars on his team, but he also has a great knack for being able to pick guys up that are nearly done with their career or have kind of stumbled along the way. And I think there's just something about when you get on Team Pro Circuit that gives you the mental confidence. He builds these guys up. And I know several I can think of in my head while I'm just sitting here that, that if it wasn't for Mitch, their career would have been at least five years shorter. So, uh, you know, again, that says a lot about Mitch. Uh, Pro Circuit is a team that, uh, it's a group of guys. I mean, it's a family. It's what it is. And, and he's a family to the sport of motocross. And without Mitch Payton at the helm, I'm not sure it wouldn't be the same. So, again, I'm so proud to be one of his riders, one of the, part of the history of that company. And, uh, you know, my career certainly would have been, wouldn't have been the same without him.